Hi, my name is Diego and I'm the BI Lead and Data Strategist at Profusion. Today we will be looking at Sysense blocks in our Corona Learning series. If you haven't used Sysense before, it's a dashboarding tool which allows you to combine data from many different sources to have a single source of truth and create highly interactive dashboards. This enables you to filter and drill down into your data and get actionable insights. Sysense also has the capabilities to create analytical apps and that's where Blocks comes into play. Sysense Blocks is an official add-on that can be found on the Sysense marketplace. With Blocks, you can turn your dashboards into analytical apps using basic standard CSS and JSON, which allows you to access many API capabilities directly in the Sysense UI in a low-code environment. This means that actionable insights are a click away with predefined cut or custom actions. This is complemented with ability to add images, text, conditional formatting, and even videos to your dashboard. On this video, we will go through some of these features with a few use cases. Here we have an empty dashboard, which has uh, elastic, in the elastic cube, we have Spotify data from our, from our company's uh, account. So now let's try, try, let's try to visualize the top artists. Let's go and search for top artist. We select the name. And we have a list here of the, the top artists, but let's go to advanced configurations where we can change the uh, type of chart. Here in the list, if you scroll down, you'll find blocks when it's installed by, and if it's not already installed, ask your CSM. Um, here you can see that automatically we get a template, a very basic template of blocks, uh, which is welcoming you to blocks. Uh, this, is a con this is a text block contained in a container within the body. And if you are familiar with HTML, which where LMS are contained in other elements, this is the same structure where one item is contained in another item. That way you can create HTML kind of structures. Now let's go on and delete and do this even more basic. Let's delete the container and just leave the text and let's get rid of the styling. Now we can see that the background is still yellow as because it's in the configuration file. We can change that to white. We can use hex or we can use text. If we go back to our editor, we can now start using uh, adding the data into our blocks. As you can see, we have arrows. That means blocks adds a new card for every element in our data. So if we add curly brackets here and add panel, colon, name, you can see that the name now displays here and we have a card for every point on the data. Now we want that to be only one from only one top artist. So we search for the day rank for the top artist and select one. Now you can see it's just red hot chili peppers. Let's add more data. If we get the genres and the images, for top artist. And let's also add the URI, which will allow us to open Spotify from our dashboard. Let's make that a bit more user friendly. Now, if we copy and paste this, another text element, we can just simply change this to general. And we can see that the general is already there. Now, Sysense Blocks has uh, snippets out of the box where you can just copy and paste containers, attributes, text styling, components. So let's go to components and select image so, so that we can copy uh, add an image. And here we can see uh, a new image, a default image. We can get rid of the classes, the ID. We're not going to use that. Here is where we can paste our image. So if we do panel image, we got we get the image. So it's the same as text. It's just very basic structure to get the data into your dashboard. If we get rid of the filter or we change the day rank, you see that there's other bands showing. Now let's go back to our design and we want to make this, uh, we want to have a button to open the URL. So let's go to actions and action types and we can see that open URL is what we need. 
we just copy and paste that here. In the URL, what we need to do is exactly the same as above. We do panel and URI. And now we have, here, have it here. Let's change that to Spotify. And if we click, it will open on Spotify. There we go. Now let's do that. Let's put this in a much better structure. So if we go back to our snippets in containers, we're going to find a column set so that we can put side by side our content. So we do column set and let's go back and add a column. Let's add two columns actually. One will contain the image on the left. On the left. Let's delete that. And the text will be on the right. And there we go. Now the image seems very, very big. Uh, as you can see here, the size of it is auto. If we change that to large, it will change. And in configuration, we can change that um, to uh, to suit our need or the, the size that we want. So if we want 200, we can do 200. Now back to our editor, we can start adding a few things so that this looks better. For example, adding spacing medium adds a spacing so that the image is not uh, just right in, in the, to the border. And we can add that also to our text. And that looks better. And let's change the background to black and our text to white. Now that looks already better. After a few tweaks, we now have our final structure. We've added a new text block to add top artist. We've centered the image and we've added hierarchy to the text. Now we click apply and that is now on our dashboard. This is how our final product looks like where we have a header, indicators and top artists and top track created all with blocks as well as graphs, traditional ones that show when we listen to music, the different genres and the features of the songs that we listen to. Additionally, we've added a list of the new releases so that the user can open Spotify directly from the dashboard and see who are the, which ones are the new releases. And that is it for today, but join us on our next video to see how we can create custom actions. Thank you for watching.